ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the video or the stream or the scrum or the whatever. It is time for the week one sprint one a weekly scrum. If you're not familiar with this, I'm going to get into it in a sec, but this is for a hashtag Vagabond game, a game that I am trying to develop that I try to do kind of moderately live, whether it's with on, uh, on stream or through these videos. And this is the tr my attempt to try to keep it agile. So you might be asking, what happens in a weekly scrum? Well, let me tell you, it's pretty straightforward. In a weekly scrum, I answer three questions. It keeps me accountable to my audience and to my stakeholders. You're my audience and my stakeholders. So what do we, I answer three questions. One, what did I do last week that helped me, helped me, the development team, meet the sprint goal? What will I do next week to help the development team meet the sprint goal? I'm the development team. And do I see any impediment that prevents me or the development team from meeting the sprint goal? Again, I'm the development team. It's a, it's a one-man show, so this is the official stuff that you take from scrum.org. That being said, I try to answer these every week as a sort of scrum that kind of answers where things are going, how things are moving along. It keeps me accountable, it keeps me honest. So let's talk about it. This is a recap of what we talked about in the Sprint 1 planning session. It broke it up into two separate sections, the design and the development side of things. I guess it should go like that. Anyway, my strength, my weakness is my design skills. So I focus heavily on that. I had two, two, two tasks planned for that. Complete the storyboards for dialogue and conversation. Uh, so we can really understand that form of gameplay and then do a lower production version purpose um, which I had started last week you can re you can watch the old video to kind of understand what's going on but I need something at a lower production value so that I can get something out the door faster make it more playable so or make it playable quicker uh, in terms of the development side I want to do some automated scaffolding for continuous integration of the game so I want to do automated builds make sure that I keep my head out of the code because it is my strong suit. It's where I like to be, and I need to focus more on the design. So if I automate things, it is done. I'll know it works. I don't have to worry about it again until it breaks, which it shouldn't. I also want to display a title screen, create the exit, uh, exit the, be able to blah, be able to exit the game. That's the gist of everything I want to be doing in the development side. Very hollow thing, but I want something out the door at the end of this sprint. I want to get into that habit. So, and the ultimate goal for the Sprint 1 was to build a minimal foundation to stand on for both the design and the development. So design should always be a little bit further ahead than the development so that the code side can implement what we design. So what did I do last week? On the design side, uh, you can see the thing that's bolded here if I highlight them. On the design side, I've been working heavily on that lower production purpose, which I like to call the marketeer. We'll see how that goes, but it is in progress. I'll get to the, the risks and impediments on that. It's taken a little bit longer than I want, but it's, it's starting to flesh out really well. On the development side, had a really good day one and just banged that thing out. I was actually really impressed with myself. I sat down one night and just grinded at it for a few hours. And man, I had continuous integration working with Unity 3D, which means I'm staying staying in that, in that world. Um, could go a little bit further with it to get more automated, but for now it's enough to keep things moving forward, and that's what's important. So I'm calling that one done. I still have to display a title screen and an exit and exit the game, so I have to do that functionality in the game. That's not going to do too, too much. Really want to emphasize the time I want to spend on the design because it's still it's still going along. So you can see those are the two things I'm, that I've been doing. Uh, so what will I do this week? It's going to be a design week. Development is an easy thing for me to, to kind of jump into. I feel strong about what I'm walking into there. The design is where the, my risk is, so I'm focused heavily on the on that. So I'm going to be trying to finish that lower production purpose and actually get some of those story, some of that dialogue, conversation, storyboard stuff done too. In terms of risks and impediments that are coming up, um, I just got some risks, no real impediments, but it's a new low production purpose. It isn't feeling clean enough. This is why it's taking a lot longer than I thought it would. I had been working on the musician purpose or quest line off and on for since April and I had a lot of time to flesh that thing out how it's gonna work but it was too high production that's what I realized that's what we saw in the sprint uh, review for sprint zero this one is a new one that was in the back of my head and I had it written down because I would go through my notes and it's working but there's a lot of scope creep in there that's the second risk is the gameplay scope creep it's hard to design myself out of this so I'm trying to find some ways to put some constraints on the gameplay, and whether it's what, in terms of an experiment that I can do and, and just kind of factor in the one the one characteristic or the one system or idea that needs to make this thing work. 
and I think I have it. I gotta kind of work through this idea process. I do that on my commute to work every day. My commute's gonna be longer this week uh, for traffic reasons, so I'll have a lot of time to flesh this out this week. So I'm really hoping it kind of comes together and I start to feel more comfortable with it, but I, it's getting there, but just not clean enough yet. So it's taking more time than I want. And with that being said, thank you for taking the time to watch this update. Um, as usual, if you want to join the community, go over to vagabondgame.com. You can uh, find many ways to follow along. Um, that, that is where I'm going to be updating things constantly. So you'll see that that URL is going to be the hub, the one-stop shop to find this project, me. So all my social media is up on the screen there. Um, take a look at that. As usual, thanks to uh, Audio Library Plus for this beautiful music that I put in the background. And if you could do me a favor and have yourself a pleasant day and or evening, I'd greatly appreciate it. Have yourselves a good one.